What up, everybody? How you doing today? My name is David Franco, and welcome to the weekend of Velocity Vlog. Today is Friday, April 12th, 2024. The camera's a little lower than usual because my mount fell again this week while I was driving. It scared the crap out of me because our temperatures reached like max of 76 and well, which isn't hot, but it turns into an increase in the internal cabin temperature of the car. Guys, it got hot inside the car. That's the, that's the best way I can explain it. And the heat separated the um, dashboard. Okay, you guys don't care. The camera's lower, that's all. I'll probably make it higher because I'm sure it's gonna fall again because knowing Pennsylvania, it's gonna warm up again next week. Guys, it is currently 59 degrees out, gloomy. The sun is hiding behind clouds. It's absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love this weather. Now, yeah, it would suck if I was down the shore or on vacation or whatever. Uh, but speaking in terms of like my daily routine, I absolutely love weather like this. It just relaxes me. And speaking of relaxes me, guys, my mind is the most relaxed it has been in a long time. I genuinely feel happy lately. I was thinking about that the other day, like I'm actually happy right now, which is really cool. Because uh, last year wasn't my happiest year. Uh, but I just feel so good. You know, I'm, I'm back on track. I'm waiting on my tax return to come in. I've got jobs coming in. I, I'm, I'm productive. Patreon's doing very well. Shout out to my patrons. You guys just got another vlog right around one hour and 30 minutes long. Thank you so much for your continued support. Honestly, Patreon is what keeps me going. Patreon is like my biggest focus these days. And I'm just so eternally thankful for each and every one of my patrons. So guys, if you want exclusive vlogs, sign up right below. It's just $5 a month. Uh, honestly, guys, it helps me out a lot. And you get instant access to over 300 exclusive vlogs dating back to 2015. So yes, this means you don't only get access you know, to the new vlogs after you sign up, but you get access to all of the vlogs. It's it's a really, really good value. And I know for a fact that my, my patrons are quite happy with my consistent content every single week. That's where my uh, AirTag is. And speaking of that, I went for a walk in the local park this week looking for my AirTag that Gizmo lost. I could not find it, but hey, it was fun to get out of the house. Um, I took a nice long walk, got outside for a little while. No regrets, no regrets, as they uh, say in We're the Millers. Funny movie. Hey guys, I hope you've been well. I did indeed have a productive week. I wrapped up my second ever VHS conversion customer. Shout out to Ben, thank you so much for your business. I appreciate it, I appreciate you. And Ben emailed me saying, David, I'm, I'm so happy with these. Guys, I'm telling you, people get a special feeling when they see their home videos, like memories from the 90s, converted into a forever digital file. It's just, it's just nice to do something good. I mean, it's nice to get paid too, obviously, but it just feels so good to convert people's memories for them because those VHS tapes that you own will eventually degrade to the point where your footage is completely lost. And I'm not just saying that to get your business. I'm just spitting facts here, blah, 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 like Tasmanian devil. Uh, your your uh, tapes will die eventually. So please get them converted. I'm not saying you have to use me, but if you do use me, well, you can trust me because I'm not some large corporation trying to nickel and dime you. Uh, my current rate as of right now is $8 per tape, which I think is very fair considering how much time goes into the projects. So if you're interested, check it out right below. Whew, yeah, I got I to move you guys. It's a little too wobbly down below um also i woke up to an email today confirming that i do once again have another website redesign client i sent him a proposal last night i said look i can do this for you i can do this i can do that for this price and i woke up to the email saying okay david let's do it i was like yes another project for me and one step closer to being completely credit card debt free Dude, I'm going seven over in a 25. Okay, you wanna mess with me? Idiot. Moron. 
Yeah, roll up my side. Let's have a little chat. Douchebag. Oh, I hate people like her. Absolutely inside of my butt. And I'm going seven over on a 25 road. I have no, mm, I hate people like that. I hate, hate, hate people like that. Stop tailgating, guys. But you know what's awesome about people like her? If for some reason she were to hit me, then yeah, she would likely be at fault. And I think, I just think that's hilarious. So yeah, go ahead. Tailgate me. I don't care. Tailgate me. I can use the money. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yes, today is a McDonald's day, I think. I might be going to Sheets because I still have a Sheets gift card to use. So I'd be kind of stupid to not get a free lunch. Don't you pull out in front of me. Um, but yeah, anyway, going back to the website, guys, that's that's really, really good news. I'm telling you, I, I've just been putting myself out there more, you know? I say this all the time. If you're looking for work and you're good at something, like for me, I think I'm good at web design. I have an eye for design and all that stuff. And while I've been putting myself out there and saying, look, I can do this, I can do that. The worst thing that they can say, in this case, the customer, is no. I mean, if they say no, who cares? You just move on, you know? Life goes on. It never, ever hurts to ask. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. That person needs to get over a little bit, Jesus. I'm a very, very defensive driver, if you can't tell. I'm like constantly observing every possible situation around me. One, because I have common sense. Two, I have a brain that works properly. Three, I'm a responsible adult who knows what he's doing behind the wheel of a giant one ton plus weight car. And uh, three or four, whatever number I just left off on because I'm focused on driving here. I watch a lot of those car accident videos. So I'm like constantly yelling at my TV and I'm like, well, why would you do this? Hey guys, it was a good day. It was a good day. I hope you're feeling just as good as I am. Just positive vibes, you know, despite being surrounded by idiotic drivers, positive vibes. Mom? Mom says hi, calm David. It's hot as balls today. <laughs> My mom never talks like that. It's hot as balls today. <laughs> mom, I am leaving that in the vlog. I don't care. I don't care if it embarrasses you. I'm doing it. That's amazing. Yeah, they're they're still in Florida. Mom and dad are scheduled to arrive back at home on Sunday. I say scheduled because they're driving. I will never, ever drive that far. And while things can come up, I don't know if they're gonna make it by Sunday. Uh, but they should. I'm assuming they're leaving tomorrow. And maybe they're driving straight down. No. You know what? They're probably leaving early Saturday. Getting to some kind of destination. Tesla. Um, last time they stopped at South Carolina, I think. I'm thinking they'll go farther up. Maybe North Carolina or Virginia. Stay the night. And then wake up early and drive all the way back up on Sunday because I know for a fact they want to get home Sunday and for those wondering do I regret not going to Disney World absolutely not like I, I love traveling but like I don't need to travel to be happy like I, I had a very good and productive week I just love working I love working I will relax when I die I was gonna skip Goodwill but We'll, we'll go real quick. I, I can't promise I'm gonna vlog anything interesting because Friday's payday, a lot of people are off from Fridays. Um, so we'll, we'll see what I can vlog. I'm leaning towards McDonald's for lunch because I do have a free filet of fish waiting for me. But I also have free sheets waiting for me. But then again, I'm probably gonna sheets tomorrow for dinner. Decisions, guys, and I'm door dashing tonight because I have a gift card for that as well. I think I'm gonna get Chinese food, maybe. Last time the Chinese was okay. I think I think I have Chinese too often to the point where I'm just kind of mildly sick of it. Dare I say that? All right, I'll see you guys at Goodwill. All right, let's do this, guys. Didn't bring my bag. Didn't bring my lanyard. So in other words, I'm planning on a quick visit. Bye, Poochie. See you Monday. <laughs> and I'm done. I didn't vlog anything inside.
Guys, I love that dog. Hi, Pooch. Yeah, you. See you Monday. Okay. Enjoy your weekend. Honestly, guys, Goodwill thrifting for me is more of a patrons only vlog thing. And it's not me playing favorites. It's just better during the week. Fridays are too busy and stuff like that, you know? And guys, honestly, I didn't even really feel like going today. I just want to get my lunch, go home, and relax, watch some Better Call Saul, and perhaps start brainstorming my client's website. But realistically speaking, I want to start that on Sunday while I'm previewing this Avlocative vlog. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Maybe I will get a filet fishy You know what? Hold on. I'm going to go to Sheets because I, ne I need milk anyway. I need milk. Because I, I go through so much milk. Um, and I just want to see how I feel about being there, you know? Like, maybe something will kick in, you know? Like, David, buy this. I don't know. Guys, as you can see, I have a very, very exciting Friday ahead of me. <laughs> Not really. I ain't complaining. Now I'm chilling. I'm chilling. It was a good week, guys. Can't complain. What else? Oh, also, I've been cooking more. Just, guys, seriously, just ask my patients for proof. I've been cooking a lot more. This week, I'm still going through my major breakfast kick. Kick.com slash David Franco. Not related, but I figured that's a good segue. Anyway, this week, I made scrambled eggs and pork roll. I had that last night. My God, it was so good. And before that, I had an egg and cheese omelet with a bunch of sausages. That was good. Mom says boo we separated already, but might see them later and I will show her. Show her? Why do these things still read like robots from 1996? I, I sent a video to Mom to play for Charlotte, and I will play that when I get the sheets for you guys. And I'll show you the adorable picture that Mom sent me of Charlotte. I love that Char Char. Guys, can you believe it? Sh she's turning three in June. Three! Where has the time gone? It's crazy. Appreciate every day, guys, because life is flying by. And honestly, I, I just feel like it feels faster the older you get, which is an unfortunate reality. But at the same time, it's a reminder to appreciate life and stop focusing on everything that's wrong in the world. Focus on what's good in the world. There's so much more good than bad. Stop watching the news. If Seriously, if I can give you any piece of advice, stop watching the news. It's negative story after negative story. My God. Well, it happened again. The windshield mount for the GoPro fell on my leg while driving, and I yelled some bad words. Words I would not really say in my vlog. Drives me crazy. It's my own fault. I gotta, I gotta properly suction it with some water or whatever. No, I'm not gonna spit on it. That's just nasty. Ugh. All right, let me, let me show you that video. Hi, Shar Shar. Make sure to yeet something at mommy today, okay? And yell yeet. Is you know, Kristen just loves it when her daughter throws stuff at her. <laughs> Uncle David strikes again. And here's, here's the, here's the cute picture of Shar Shar. Look at her. She is having a blast, guys. She is completely sane, I promise. She's so cute. I, I, I can't wait till she's old enough to actually have conversations with me. Which is what, like maybe five years old? Because right now, she, she still says things I just can't understand. Um, but that's the beauty of it. She's trying to guess what she's saying. All right, I'm going in the sheets. I might still hit at McDonald's, I don't know. But I'm here at sheets. It's not a big deal. You eat your food. You enjoy it, and while you poop it out, life goes on. Food's not that big of a deal. It's just temporary happiness. McDonald's acquired. Now, I did go to Sheets to get milk. A one gallon of 1% low-fat milk. I said that weird. For $6, I couldn't believe it. I just thought, you know what? With, with everything getting more expensive, this is the price of a gallon of milk now, because I usually buy half a gallon. So I get in the car after buying. Now keep in mind, it was free for me because I used my Sheets gift card that my mom gave me. Thank you, mom. Um, and I Google it and I look up Target 
Target wants like $4.25 or something like that for a gallon of milk. Sheets. I love you, but what the heck is going on with that? You need to lower your milk prices. Now I get it, you're you're paying for convenience. But I have a feeling Wawa milk prices are a lot lower than $6 a gallon. It is what it is though, lesson learned. I was just there, I mean, I might as well pay for it, you know? I dig it, this. filet fish baby, medium fry. Sucks having to actually hold my camera, but here we go. They're good, but they're not very hot. It is what it is. And I know, I know. I'm gonna have people saying, well, David, ask for fresh fries. I don't really care that much. It's not a big deal. Again, food is simply temporary happiness. That's all it is. As long as I get my food, as long as I'm fed, I'm grateful for that. There's a lot of people out there who cannot get a meal every single day. Everything is perspective. That's 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 really what life is, perspective. All right. I am going home to watch Better Call Saul, baby. I'm going to do my best to not work much today. Again, I think I'm going to start working on my client's website redesign on Sunday. Um, which should be fun. I, I, I'm legit excited about that. Oh, by the way, the, the uh, website is focused around a book. I rarely, rarely get to work on websites focused on books. So this is my chance to gain some good experience. And who knows, I could turn his website into a template for future websites about books. And I'm home. Hi, little Stoifies. She actually greeted me at the door when I came through, which she like never does. Hey, BB. She's such a good cat. There's Zero chilling on the couch. I'm talking to you, Siri. Never mind. Oh my God. Oh, close little stripes. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm excited for my filet o fish. Filet o fish. Filet o fish. Give me that fish. There are my friesies. And my filet o fishy. What the? Like, how? <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything bad. I just don't understand why people don't put love into this. Like, but McDonald's. What is it? What? That's your idea of cheese? I swear to God. Fast. Who? <laughs> I do not understand. I don't care if you work at McDonald's, Red Lobster, or a five-star restaurant in the city. Put love and care into every single piece of food you touch because that leaves a long-lasting impression. There's absolutely no excuse for this. And there it is. Better Call Saul, Season 6, Episode 7. They do not deserve that. This is my second time seeing Season 6. And it still hurts. It, it hurts so bad to see what happens to that person. They, they did not deserve that. But man, the writing is so excellent. Everything you do has consequences. You will hurt people, innocent people if you start doing bad things in life, especially when that innocent person does not deserve what they got. And I know it's just a TV show, but this stuff happens in real life. My God. And what's cool is, and I say cool loosely because it's such good writing. I knew it was gonna happen, because again, this is my second time seeing this season, but it still hit me just as hard. Oh man, <laughs> Better Call Saul is absolutely incredible. It actually might be better than Breaking Bad in regards to storytelling, but only from a character development and directing perspective. Story-wise, Breaking Bad, I think is more interesting because the whole drug trading thing and whatever, drug manufacturing, meth and all that stuff. But Better Call Saul really gives you a foundation behind all the stuff that you know and love in Breaking Bad.
Absolutely phenomenal TV. It's so good. And guys, question for you. I'm kind of going through like a lawyer, law show kind of phase. Is the show Suits any good? It's, it's literally just called Suits. So let me know. Zero is chilling. Hi, Z. <laughs> Did I scare you? Hi, Zero. What are you looking at? I know, the chair flew off the deck. It's windy. Hi. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Yeah, it's easy. Oh, God. Excuse me, Z. I don't want to crush you. As I scratch up my deck, I don't care. I gotta fix the uh, drain pipe. It does that when it's windy. Sorry, terrible camera work. It falls out of the notch. That's good for now. I am definitely not as flexible as I used to be. Hi, Zero. You enjoying the sunlight? Yeah, you're such a cool cat. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Crazy kitty. You're a good boy. I love you, Z. You're a good kitty. He's so cool. You guys are cool too. Relax, relax. No little stripes. You're staying in. You're right. Yeah, but yeah, guys, my God, better call Saul. <laughs> It's excellent, excellent TV. And with that said, I'm gonna treat myself to some Valorant time. Then head to the Prentals to check on the keys, then come back, order DoorDash eventually, then go live, then I'll see you guys tomorrow. No, I'm not signing off now. I'm just giving you an itinerary, itinerary of my day. Welcome, MZ. All right, I'm back in my old house. Yes, this is my old house. Hey, Belle. How you doing these days, beautiful? Beautiful key. Come here, baby. Oh, she's so soft, guys. She's a really soft cat. Hi. Hi. Of course, she goes quiet once I turn the camera on. Belle. Belle. Speak to me. Or just eat your food. There's Tinsel. Hi, Tints. Look at this mess they make. They're crazy. And knowing Puppy, she's probably in the litter box. She always uses it after Mama or I scoop it. Yep, there she goes. Enjoy, Puppy. Do your business. All right, I'm going to feed you guys. Okay, time to eat. Come on. One more day of this, and then Mom and Dad are home on Sunday. Time to eat. Come on, keys. Aw, go keys. Look at them all. I like David, feed us. Hi. <laughs> and I'm home. What are we at here? Let me see. 74 miles. Let that charge for the next couple hours. Because I am in for Z night. Little Stripes. For those who don't know, Little Stripes is Belle's sister. Right? She's so cute. There you go. Hey, baby. Come here. Come here. Little Stripes. You chilling? She's shy on camera, but believe me, off camera guys, she's very, very lovey dovey. Aren't you little swipeies? Yeah. Well, yeah, guys, I am in for the night. I still have that stranger's air tag just sitting in my house, so one of these days, that scares me. I forgot, like every time you pick it up, it sends out a beacon. So there you go. The, the person, in theory, just, just got an alert that it's sitting here in my house. So one of these days, a total and complete stranger could show up. Be like, why do you have my air tag? I'd be like, well, you see, sir or ma'am, I found it a while ago and you just have not come back to get it. Anyway, um, 
And speaking of AirTag, I just went through a nearby neighborhood looking for my AirTag. Can't find it. I'm gonna go out again next week in Z Pigeons only of Lockerty Vlog because it's always good to get outside and get some steps in. But now I'm going to do the opposite of getting steps in. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna put my PJs on and get ready to order dinner. I don't know what I'm ordering. I have like $53 left in DoorDash credits, which is plenty. So if I wanna go all out, then I can go all out. But I'll probably get something boring like Applebee's or something. I'm leaning towards Outback Steakhouse, but I don't know. Guys, I don't know what I want. I mean, a salad sounds good, but from where? <sighs> Dude, every time I pet cats, whoo! Well, I suppose tonight is not my night for DoorDash. I ended up making an egg and cheese omelette with some pork roll and a coffee, of course. Hi, Zero. You wanna go outside? All right, be good, be safe. I'll see you soon. Kenzie, I don't wanna shut you in. Zero. <laughs> anyway, um, I was so excited. I ordered from Red Robin. I ordered their crispy chicken tender salad with ranch. I'm a big salad guy. And a side of boneless chicken bites, like, like some kind of fiery or fiery jalapeno sauce. I don't know. It sounded amazing. I ordered over two hours ago. It just kept being delayed and delayed. And I felt bad because I had one dasher sitting there for literally like 20 minutes. And eventually he canceled his order and he had to go out and get other orders done. And I even told him I would, you know, add in an extra tip because I felt bad for his waiting. Uh, then another dasher was trying to pick it up. And then a third dasher was there for a little while. So I'm pretty sure Red Robin messed up. It is a Friday night. Maybe they were busy and overwhelmed, but still, like, just take my money, Red Robin. I, I mean, I'm trying to give you money, so give me some food. So, long story short, it is what it is. There are actual problems in the world. Life goes on. And I'll try again tomorrow, because I definitely sounded really good. And I kind of messed up my omelet, but it is what it is. And yes, I like ketchup in my eggs. Don't be hating. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I wanted that salad so bad. Happy Saturday, everybody. It's already, what is it, 4.52. Hey, ball. And I'm just now vlogging today. Hi, Timby Wim. How are you? I know, it's very windy outside. A lot of noises. Hi, Shaney Wayne. God, you eat a lot. Enjoy. Now I gotta check on the fish. And this is my last visit for mom and dad's Disney World trip. Last time I checked, they were driving north. They were in Savannah, Georgia or somewhere around there. I gotta check the app again. All right, well, that'll do it. Timber, why do you always gotta jump on the tank? Drop these little pellets in. Boop, boop, boop. Timber, I don't think you should be up there. I don't think fish like Cats. Now the other way around, yeah, I mean, cats love fish, if you know what I'm saying. Timber, get down. Come on. Come on, Timby Wham. Come on. Jump. Jump. You won't. All right. Timber, seriously. Ugh. You shouldn't have put that kind of pressure on the glass. Good boy. I know, I know. You just like having fun, right? Yeah. It is Mr. Bolly. So I woke up today to another AirTag alert. It's pretty much in the same location that it's been for the past two weeks. And shout out to my patron, Aaron Kerr. He said that you basically have to stand within an AirTag's proximity for like a good 20, 30 seconds, and it'll eventually ping your iPhone or ping someone else's iPhone. So I know where it is. I have a general idea. I'm just not comfortable about standing out front someone's house because it looks sus. But if someone asks, I'll just say exactly what I'm doing. I'm looking for an air tag that my cat lost. Um, but I know where it is, like in, in someone's front yard. So patrons, stay tuned. The air tag adventure continues tomorrow. I'm excited. And guys, I have a good feeling I'm actually gonna find it this time. And everybody is good. Bell, enjoy. Tinsel, enjoy. And puppy, enjoy. God, they're all so soft. Although I think the softest one might be tinsel. Beautiful kitties. All right. 
You guys will see mom tomorrow. This is officially it. I did it. A full week of checking on you guys. And yes, they were pretty chaotic. I come in here and, and there's crafting supplies everywhere, litter all over the bathroom floor. But I love them. I love them. All right, I'll see you guys at home. I might give Red Robin another try today. I don't know, or um, something else. But I'm definitely in the mood for a chicken salad and some kind of appetizer. A dude's gotta eat. Although I will say, I made some scrambled eggs before during Better Call Saul. Oh my God, Better Call Saul is incredible. Again, I've seen season six once already, uh, but to see it a second time is truly gold. It's so good because now we've caught up to the point where it's part of the Breaking Bad storyline. Um, and then past the Breaking Bad storyline, and then during the Breaking... They, they kind of jump back and forth between the intro and, like, the regular, you know, Better Call Saul storyline. It's good. Guys, I'm telling you, if you need good TV in your life, check out Better Call Saul, but watch Breaking Bad first, and then you can truly appreciate all the references and the characters and the Easter eggs in Better Call Saul. It, it truly is incredible story writing. And I'm hoping Vince Gilligan has another spin-off planned. If he doesn't, I understand why. I guess it's, 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 just, it's just good to wrap up a show when it's, you know, finalized. But I think between the Breaking Bad universe and the uh, Better Call Saul universe, which are technically both the same universe, the storyline has so much to offer that I think there's something there that Vince Gilligan um, can branch off of even more. I love good TV. All right, moments later, played some Valorant, played some Warzone to kill time. While wow, my food is being delivered, yes, it worked this time. I don't know what happened yesterday. Miscommunication, too busy. Again, it was it was a Friday night, so who knows? Anyway, I decided against my salad. I mean, I still got a salad right here, a side salad. Oh my god, that actually looks really good, Red Robin. Damn, well done. Got a side of ranch and blue cheese for something. Oh, these, oh my God, dude. Holy crap. This looks incredible. Those look really freaking good. Holy crap, Red Robin. I am impressed. And of course, I got a bag of, with no fries. Oh my God, look at that cheese. Oh. So burger, side salad and some boneless bites. It is time to feast. What time is it? It's 3.43 a.m. 3.43 in the morning. Actually wrapped it up kind of early tonight. Yes, 3.43 for me is kind of early. Good time Sunday, guys, uh, except for Warzone. Hey guys, it just wasn't me, it was everyone. The, the vibe wasn't right. Just Warzone games weren't very fun tonight, but Valorant, Valorant was definitely my favorite game of the night. And shout out to Kick for once again featuring me on their front page. I'm telling you, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm on some kind of list where they just feature me now and then. Because guys, honestly, this is probably like the fifth or sixth time that Kick has featured me on their front page. Do you know how huge that is? I, I just appreciate that so much, Kick. And I know you're never going to see this vlog. Uh, but for smaller creators like myself, it can really make a big difference. And of course, shout out to my dude Panda for gifting 10 subs last night and five subs tonight. I truly have the best community. And guys, if you're not watching me live yet, please stop on by kick.com slash Jamie DeFranco. I stream mostly multiplayer games, but now and then I stream a single player game. And actually with that said, I'll probably stream a single player game in the near future because honestly, Warzone's kind of getting old to me right now. Um, but hey, stay tuned because every night is a mystery. I'll see you guys later today for day three. Happy Sunday, everybody. Mom, welcome home. Thank you. It's good to see you. Thank you. That's a, that's a, that's a cute mom, by the way. Mm -hmm. She was staring at us because I'm pretty sure she knew what you did. Mom farts <laughs> while sitting, but we're already here. I'm like, mom, get out first, then fart. And then, really cute mom, right? Cute mom? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, let it air out for a minute. And she she heard me and she starts smiling. So I'm pretty sure she knows what you did back there. I don't ever see her again. You don't know yeah. that? Small town, baby! Speaking of small towns, tell them about the latest news in Strasbourg. Cybertruck was seen pulling an Amish buggy. I was thinking about the cop. As a photo shoot experiment. Yes. 
God, I thought that was T sliding. I was thinking of the our neighbor got pulled over by a cop. Yeah. We, have, we have radar now. I, I haven't seen a Cybertruck yet, guys, uh, but I'm hoping to. I don't love it, but I think I think it's cool enough because it makes people mad because of how bad it looks. I think I think it looks kind of cool. Anyway, focusing on mom. Mom, yes. welcome back. Thank you. It's good to see you. Thank you. Top three favorite things about Disney World. Go. Um, how much attention Dad and I got for our anniversary? They treat you well. Oh my God! We walked into our room. Did it? Did you see the TV? I, that, that was a classy Isn't move, that Disney. Cool? Classy move. Tell and the funny thing was, tell them the TV. Or the TV said, "Happy anniversary, Debbie and Dave and Debbie." That's so cool. But when we first got there, our room wasn't ready yet. But you can still go to parks and everything. They're like, "Well, you requested a king pool side. We don't have one." Um, they're like, "Will you take your queen?" We're He's like, speeding. Yeah. We're like, "Yeah." So then we get to the car to go leave, and I get a text message, your room is ready. We're like, oh, well, let's go move our stuff in the room. And then we opened the door, and I saw that. It was so nice. That's a, that's a, that's a classy move, Disney. Um, I love... We're going for this. The character breakfast with Charlotte. She absolutely loved the characters. She At Crystal so Palace, cute. right? Yes. That that, that place yeah. I enjoyed as a kid. I we actually did not spend that. a whole lot of time with them, because they did a lot of stuff back at the room, because... Charlotte was not always very cooperative, which it's, I it's think a she, lot. I think she's too young yet. It's a lot. Well, even Steve said. I think you need to be like, like five. She's like, we all gonna bring your ass back here for at least two years. Yeah, exactly. Five. Yeah. She's turning three in June. Yep. But she was so cute with the character. Yeah. She loved that. Um, what else? So that was my favorite. The safari. We had an excellent. We went on a safari twice in the same day. On that girl, David. I was gonna say that, but you said it for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm definitely a booty guy. I know you are. Ladies, there were a couple on. times in Disney I said David would like that. We're not gonna make this light. Ugh. The safari was amazing. Buggy. Well, that horse wants to go. Look at him. The River Rapids was amazing. Dave was the only one that got soaked. I mean, soaked. It was funny. My butt Sweet. was wet. We all got our wet butts, but. Um, and then we went on a new ride, 90 minute wait, which was the longest wait we have. We really didn't have that long a wait. The crowds were huge, but nothing like they are in the summer when we used to go. Um, that ride was cool. That was the um, Frozen ride in Epcot in, what country is that? I always forget. How is Epcot? Is it still just as cool? Actually, Epcot was my least favorite always, but I changed my mind about it. I was gonna say. I actually like Epcot. We went there three times actually. I think I think you appreciate Epcot the more you go. We actually ended in Epcot go. this time instead of Magic Kingdom. We actually ended in Epcot. Epcot's like a fine because wine. Kristen was there it's, too. It's better when it's old. Kristen you know? was at Epcot, so we, we stayed there to meet them the last night. How was? And our ride has a sky view. It's like a gondola, like they have in ski lifts. Yeah. Dad Wait, loved it. Did uh, you go to France for dinner or no? Yeah. Yep. Steakhouse. Was it French food, or is it just well, steak? Well, we had steak, but yeah, they had French food. We the Italian place they sang happy birthday to us because we had birth we had pins saying celebrating at happily ever after and celebrating a birthday. Aww. And we didn't know they were gonna sing to us and I was a little tipsy and I was just That's the best way to be, baby. Them. But yeah, it Very was a cool, great huh? trip, but I'm glad to be home. Oh my god, what is that? I'm I'm, I'm the same way with any trip, whether it's like California or Disney Seaside. After a few days, I'm like, I, I wanna I wanna be home. Sorry. I'm, I'm just his own body at heart. I love I love being home. Especially with all my keys. And I the drive afford. wasn't bad. The drive actually went fast. Today went really fast. It made me nervous. I know. I don't like you driving those distances. I saw you. Oh, did you see you were leaving Florida and I saw that Kristen was already home. Yeah. I'm like, why don't you just fly? <laughs> right? Of course it's, Lou had to say that. It's so Lou's much like, fat. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel bad for you guys driving home. I'm like, we like I'm it. actually it's on fun. Lou's side with that one. I I, 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 I like it flying. It was fun though. I know. I just worry fireworks. about accidents, that's all. What was that noise? It's not like fireworks. Oh, ax uh, trash cans. No. Oh. Yeah. Can you take these? I would leave that here unless Mom you need it at my house. Coffee. You gonna need it at our house? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, can you grab yeah. those? I'm gonna drink my coffee later. Oh, well, it's kinda early yet. Yeah, it's early, dude. We're gonna watch a couple Jeopardies. Maybe I'll It's up to you. Mom, I can always come back out. This is true, that's not that far. And we're home. We got that half pepperoni, half sausage, and we got a couple appetizers to celebrate the return of mom and dad. Ranch. Four. Not these, although, yeah, it can be applied.
Imagine if we had three hands, it would make life so much easier. And some onion rings. Oh my god, they really like good onion rings, guys. Cheers to family. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I'm telling you. It's the oil they use. It has to be. It is so good. So juicy. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh. Oh yeah. Mmm. 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 And some amatinata for the mott sticks. Cheers to all the cheese lovers out there. Look at them. Keep PJs. Thank you. I bought them for the trip. Whew. I just washed them. Those onion rings are incredible. Are they good? Mm-hmm. Did it give it a ranchy? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. 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 Mm. For the sake of saving time, let me grab a slicey slice slice. Yeah, honey. Thank you. I'm gonna start with the Let's pepperoni. Oh. Uh-oh. Donald Trump. Let's see. Donald shirt. This is Donald Duck now. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. It is good to be back. <laughs> mm, I miss you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We no, I will you. say, I, I was telling mom, and I told you guys this yesterday, I think. I actually cooked quite a bit this week. I'm, I'm proud of myself for that. You did? Ironically, it's only breakfast stuff because breakfast is easy to cook, but hey, cooking is cooking. No, yeah, but you said you'd give me props, though, because it's a mm. lot. I don't. See you guys. And I have returned home. -eth. Got a chocolate chip muffin for tonight. Rudders, this one's a little well done, but that's okay. I'm sure it's still great. And I got a bunch of random goodies. Mom and dad brought me home two orange juices from Florida that they just never drank, because apparently they got this like every day with their breakfast. A little bit of fudge from Bucky's. Yes, check it out. My mom and dad went to Bucky's, and I am incredibly, incredibly jealous. But they were nice enough to bring me home a Bucky's shirt. How cool is that? And for those who don't know what Bucky's is, just search that. B U C dash E E S. Let's just say it's like a Wawa slash sheets slash rudders on freaking steroids. Like it is huge. God, oh God, I hope to go there one day, guys. It would honestly be a dream come true because this is my kind of place. And for anyone who gets to visit Buckley's on Buckley's? Bucky's on a regular basis, I am jealous of you. And I got some leftover pizza. Actually, this might be tomorrow's lunch. So I might just go to Goodwill tomorrow in the Pigeons Only vlog and then come back and heat that up. While enjoying Better Call Saul, I have two episodes left. And if I plan it right, I can watch the second to last episode tomorrow and then the final episode tomorrow night. Because in my opinion, it's always good to end a show at nighttime. Just, you know, the vibe is right. It's quiet. I'm not getting as many emails and alerts on my phone. His little stripes going pee pee. Yeah. Good girl, little stripes. She's so well trained. And speaking of cats, I never told you guys this, but Gizmo came home the other day, right? And check him out. Check this out, guys. He is pretty much mat free. All of his mats came out naturally. I'm so happy for him, which means he's more comfortable. Right, Giz? He's got a little tiny one on his tail, but I can work on that. But yeah, his his huge mats on the side are just completely gone, guys, which is awesome. Jeez. <laughs> Graceful much? Gizmo, you're not going out because it's starting to rain and it's getting windy. And I just want you to stay safe. All of you are staying in tonight. Sorry, safety comes first. Right, Z? He's like, I know, hey, Gizmo, stop. Hey, stop, Gizmo. Back up, get, leave him alone, go. Good boy. He has something against Zero, and I don't know why. Come here, dude, come here. What's your deal? Be a good boy.
<laughs> There's something in your whiskers. What is that? He's such a good cat, though, for the most part. He looks moody, but believe me, he's very, very uh, personable, if that makes sense. All right, guys, good talk, good talk. Guys, I am done. As I like to say, my night is just beginning. I got to finish editing this vlog. Hey, leave him alone. God, you hear the wind? My God. We have some heavy winds approaching. Actually, to the point where it's it's, it's kind of dangerous. Uh, but yeah, I got to edit the vlog. I'm going to enjoy some Valorant, and then I'm going to get started on my client's website redesign. I'm excited for that. Honestly, it's not going to be that hard. It's not going to be a lot of work. Um, I mean, yeah, it's going to be a lot of work, but it's not going to be difficult, I should say. Uh, but I'm going to make it nice because it's not very often, actually, it's incredibly rare that I get to work on a website completely focused around selling selling a book. So that means I get to work on 3D mock-ups and Canva and all that stuff. So it's so uh, yeah, it should be fun. Yeah, I just I just love my work. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for liking the video. You guys are the best. And thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe, guys, come on. I put out vlogs every single week, including the patrons only vlogs, which are linked right below. Thank you guys so much. Have a great week ahead or weekend, depending on when you're watching this video. And I will talk to you soon. Peace.